Hi, I'm Kent. I want to talk to you about what, how can you tell if your arteries are clogging up? One, one time in 2001, I was hauling ice and my customers told me that I wasn't looking very good. I told them I felt terrible and I was having trouble getting enough oxygen in. I was breathing. in and out and this went on for a long time I'm thinking maybe as much as an hour I struggled with it <sighs> kept breathing as hard and as deep and as fast as I could and I couldn't hyperventilate I went through a feeling of like a dog wanting to stick his head out the window of a car while it's moving that was an early stage but then later came a feeling of impending doom, of complete loss, of darkness. Although I could still see and I'm still functioning, uh, this feeling was overwhelming, but I kept thinking, trying to figure out what was wrong. I'd already had a heart attack, I'd already been through surgeries, and I was trying to figure out what was happening to my body. I went to the hospital, they ran their tests, they checked the blood, they checked for chemicals, and they concluded I wasn't having a heart attack and they were going to send me home. I then asked the doctor, can we talk? He says, sure. He sat down and I said, here's what's going on. My arteries are plugging up. They're plugging up so badly that I can't get enough oxygen in to do anything more than just stay alive. And then if I try to breathe as much oxygen into my body as possible, it's not going to happen. It's limited. I said, you need to run the tests where you check the, the dye running through the arteries to see the blockage. So they did those tests. He came back to me and then said, well, you've got two choices. You can hop a plane right now for the cardiac um, hospital in uh, northern Utah or you can lay there and die in the next 10 minutes. It's only because I had figured it out that I could tell the doctor what was happening to me. So, one of the tests is can you hyperventilate? If you can't hyperventilate, something's going on that's preventing the oxygen to get to your brain. And this is time to be at the hospital. But go to the hospital armed with information, armed with knowledge. Know what the heck you're talking about and make them find the answer because they will send you home. I hope this helps and I hope it saves some lives. I wish you the best. I love you, MacGyver. I would like to see a new test added to supplement the treadmill tests for heart patients. One where they're sitting or laying and a baseline oxygen level, blood oxygen level content to be measured and then to see if they can hyperventilate, see how much more oxygen they can get into their body by breathing rapidly. To see what um, the extra measure of oxygen their body is capable of adding if they try. The treadmill test throws in new variables of heavy usage of oxygen and the sitting still test would just show you can they do more than just normal. It might save some lives.